Yes. Wow. I can't see the top of that peak, look. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna what? <laughs> Great news is that I bought the wrong memory card and there's no since 58 seconds left on this one. Should we go back? No, because it's in London. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, I can film on my phone. You can film on my phone. We can pop into uh, a local hardware shop and <laughs> get a micro <laughs> SD card <laughs> in Dirtledore. <laughs> Dirtledore. Dirtledore. <laughs> If you come here, if you come to Dirtle Door, don't wear white trainers and you have to be, it's not limited mobility friendly. <sighs> yes, we made it. My memory card ran out, so I've just been to Curry's in, where are we? Dorchester. I was going to say Doncaster. Dorchester. It's the other end of the country. To get, <laughs> to get a new SD card, so you're welcome. Um, and my phone also died, so yeah. I have just got a Tesco meal deal. Brie peach poke bacon with veg crisps that, they had such an array of crisps, didn't they? Mm. And girlfriend has <laughs> what is it? Pos posto, chicken, posto and mozzarella, mozzarella and pesto. Out of ten, eight and a half. Yay, minimum. And yeah, you wanted to get the veg crisps, and then I was like, I can't not get them, otherwise I'm going to be jealous. Mm -hmm. And you got Pepsi Max, I got Cherry Pepsi Max. Match made in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're going to have a meal deal in the car experience. Meal deal car date. <laughs> <laughs> also, when did Pepsi rebrand? Did you know they rebranded re 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 at Ma? No. No? Hello. I don't know, but I like it. No. Don't like change. <laughs> I hope it's the same great taste. <laughs> <laughs> Is it going to be the same great taste? No, I hope so. What if it's not? You'd be really disappointed. Oh! <gasps> <gasps> did that to yourself. I know. <laughs> Is it the same great taste? Oh, it's the same great taste. <laughs> oh my God. Thank God. Taste it. I oh. really like cherry as much. Mm. Oh, yeah. That hits, right? That's really nice. Mm-hmm. Mm. See? I'll take it back. <laughs> <laughs> wow, down that valley. Wow. Wow. Really? Whoa. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Sometimes you just saw a killer just just waiting there for you. I mean I'd not for you. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. 
getting exciting now. <laughs> we are on the way to our Airbnb and the Airbnb has something very exciting in it which you will be very excited to see when we and if we get there. If! <laughs> So we're here, this is where we're going, but we can't get in the gates and we're trying to um, work out how to get in. Let's look for that key box though. <laughs> Yay! You did it! <laughs> oh. Not just a pretty face of you. <laughs> Our holiday can begin. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. <laughs> oh, so clean. Oh my god. I'm gonna take my shoes off. Yeah. Oh my god, it smells amazing. It's lovely. It's gorgeous. <laughs> now, obviously, it's a lovely place, but there was one selling point. You've got to do the song. Kitchen in a cupboard. Kitchen in a cupboard. Kitchen in a cupboard. Yeah. <laughs> oh, cute bathroom. Fan for shower. Oh my. Oh. entering a new kitchen in the cupboard. Please don't tell my kitchen in the cupboard that I'm entering a new kitchen in the cupboard. <clears throat> what have we got here then? <coughs> dirty crockery. Is it? No, 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 it says dirty crockery. Oh, uh, Please leave the dirty crockery in the wicker basket outside or on the dining table. Instead of washing it? Well, there's no sink. Oh. Unless we wash it in the bathroom. Oh, I see. There's two fridges, Emma. There is not that's a freezer. Use me for filling the kettle. Oh, they've got to give it a milk and a little jug. Oh, they've got Joe Malone in here. Somebody's fancy. Amber and sweet orange. Can't hear you. Peppermint or oh, white company. Peppermint. White company. Yeah, peppermint and white tea home spray. Nice. Nice. We've just had a lovely burger in what we thought was a terrible pub. Because it's just very, it's just a bit creepy. But it's 700 years old, we found out. And we had the best burger I think I've ever had in, in, a, in a pub. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah, we didn't think that was going to happen because we were the only ones in here. Um, but yeah. How's your... <laughs> 
Oh yeah, this poor, this poor snake plant is fighting for its life here. R.I.P. We're waiting for the ghost hunters. We're, we're waiting. We're currently waiting for the ghost hunters, which is not a lie. Actually, I can't talk because this music is going to be um, oh. copyrighted. Copyrighted. There'll be royalties involved, Emma. Mm. That's not what we want. It's not. That was lovely. Bye. We just said bye to the guy, and I didn't realise I was holding a brioche. <laughs> I was just waving at him like this out the window. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Mmm, <laughs> glorious sunshine. Mm. Mm. So we've reached a flood. <laughs> <laughs> I'm filming this for the memories. <laughs> it's all about the memes. Emma's sporting my lovely pink jumper. So the people behind us have just uh, she just put her wellies on and went into it <laughs> and I think okay we've got we've got a convoy gonna try oh, try Johnson the flood it. It's <laughs> it looks super deep no even he's like nah yeah sure. oh there's something coming down <gasps> Oh my god! Oh, now we've got a tractor god, coming this way. Yeah. Oh my god! He's coming quite fast. He's probably like, what are these idiots doing? So what now we're they? reversing up this. <laughs> I don't know when. Oh, they're turning round in the middle of the road. Oh, there's lots of logs. <laughs> Oh my god! I'm oh, thinking it's up the window! <laughs> <laughs> There's gonna be nowhere to turn around! It's okay, as long as he doesn't ram you up the bum. Uh, we've just done a turn in the road and now, yay! The seaglass hunt continues! <laughs> well done, that was some good driving! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yay! So this is the view that we missed coming in yesterday. Yeah. Alice, I haven't spent any time with Alice because she's I haven't met Alice before. <laughs> no. See, I've met you for a go. I can't remember his name. How come people are so loud? Josh. Why can't I find the page? So we're in Charmer now it's really busy <laughs> and uh, but this is the good thing about coming sea glass hunting in Charmer because people come for fossils they're not here, here. looking for oh, yeah, here. yeah someone here isn't for sea glass but dear 35 Emma still going at the potential fossil and yes I know I shouldn't be holding this in my hand but And has only hit herself in the hand once. What, face also once. <laughs> oh my god, yeah! <laughs> oh my god. This better be the best fossil I've ever seen in my life. This is the high fashion of charm of feet. This is Lauren yeah. trying to break open what Dirty might be a fossil. Dirtable. Mud on my back. <laughs> yeah. I bet so many people are going to be watching this going, oh my god, don't do that. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, we don't even know if it's a fossil, but. <laughs> the, only way, the only reason I don't think it's a fossil is because it doesn't have the ridge all the way around. 
Yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. Oh yeah, no, fine, fine, okay. Just to be very clear. <laughs> All right, Emma. This is Lauren in her natural habitat. Happy as a clam in a chowder. Mm. Yum. Crack that baby open. <laughs> Wrap that baby open. Here. I didn't know you were here, Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you doing? I'm trying to get this non fossil out for this random person. Random person? What are you trying to say? <laughs> I'm going to speed this up so it's like. <laughs> Um, so we need to go there and beat everyone getting fossils. I just found this. Find out, baby. <laughs> Wee, yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh no 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 no! I lost my bit of green. Oh no! I wonder oh. if... Hmm... So good they just absorb all of the wet water so I don't feel like they're wet. We're going for a paddle. Couldn't help it. Help ourselves. <laughs> We're saying sayonara to the beach now. <sighs> yeah. Monday. I'm exhausted. <laughs> so exhausted. I literally struggled to even put on an outfit today. I'm going to have a shower later at mum's because she's got a power shower. And it's like, got one of those pool things that you pour and it goes, and it just like makes you remember you're a human. So I'm not going to have a stupid shower under the dribble that I've got in there. This is the outfit. Yep, it's happening. The neon, neon on neon. And I need to go because I'm late. I'm gonna, oh, I can't even think about the mess right now. It's all in my life. Okay, phone, earphones, keys. That's all I need. Wits about me, I don't have that. <laughs> okay. I go. Someone's got a 
so easy. It's mine. Not me completely forgot, forgetting what I've ordered. Hello, car. Have you missed me? What is this? Miscellaneous package. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I bought it on the way to Dorset the other day. It's um, my hairdresser used this really good spray on my hair. So I got some. Uh, don't test me, universe, please. Okay. Thank you. Not sponsored. It's the Revlon Equave. Revlon Equave Hydro Instant Detangling Conditioner. And it's like a leave in. So she washed my hair and then sprayed this in and then dried it. It was gorgeous. So this big bottle was £13, which she. Yeah, well, she recommended that I got it on Amazon because it was a lot cheaper than going to the hairdressers that she goes to, to buy it. Oh, I should have asked my friend's name. My neighbor's daughter, my mom's neighbor's daughter works in the hairdressing shop. So I could have asked her for mates rates. No, I don't know her like that. Huh. Okay. It's a school day, so she's excited to see her friends and hand out sweets. Have a brilliant day, Nora, and enjoy your birthday. Um, Happy birthday, Nora. Let's go. Those were the days when all you had to be worried about was giving out sweets on your birthday, right? <laughs> the little fun size sweeties. Ah, oh, Mems, I need a coffee. Coffee is what I need. Hey, hey. <laughs> I need a coffee, coffee. <coughs> Last week's video, I sung a mashup between my hand is my hand, your hand is your hand, which is that stupid song that Joey sings in Vegas to that guy who's a croupier the croupier who has the same hands as him yeah and then i went straight into you make me happy when times are gray so yeah oh my god why does this keep moving and somebody commented and goes you know that's not the song <laughs> it's, it's two songs i think it's funny because a lot of the stuff i do is intentional but sometimes I think people just think I'm an idiot, which I fully am, but I'm an intentional idiot. <clears throat> Do you want to see the cutest thing in the world? Apart from me. <laughs> this little fancy, fond and fancy, hee <laughs> And on the bottom it says, I fancy you, dee dee dee. <laughs> <laughs> so funny with things like this look at the tag <laughs> need to cut your tag off mate warning parental supervision required at all times I don't look too bad oh no maybe I do <laughs> you know when you've got a busy week planned and you're tired before it's even started. That's me. That's me in the corner. That's me in the spot. Um, I should have sung that's me in the car, shouldn't I? That's me in the car. Um, yeah, Wednesday I'm going to the cinema with Maggie. Thursday I have a gig. Uh, on my own, Union Chapel, seeing Okiem, this incredible pianist. Uh, Friday, I have uh, a meal out, 
Saturday, there I have something with Emma's brother and her, his girlfriend. And then Sunday, I think it's just like video day. Probably editing because I'm not going to have time to edit on those other days. I'm going to have to make time. Um, and then Monday is, I've got um, a show thing with Maggie that I'm going to. So, oh my goodness. Yeah. Whew. <sighs> it's cold. It's really cold. Have they got any nice reduced salady things? Ooh. Interesting. The bread says you deserve butter on it. I mean, it's true. There are no lies being said. But it's interesting. Set an alarm for one hour. Okay. I am. Um, I am. Um, <sighs> I am finally home. Uh, it was really busy in MS, so I didn't really film. But I got a few things. Look, I need some more light. Okay. So I got, wait, no, I'm, just, I'm too hot. <laughs> so I just put a wash on as you saw. And from m &S, I went at the right time, so I got some yellow sticker bargains. This house is too hot. Yellow sticker bargains. So I got, for tonight's meal, I got the crayfish and mango salad, reduced to £2.81. Bargain with a coconut chilli dressing. Then I got some parmesan, some reduced Pineapple for 140. Bananas, because I'm working at home tomorrow. So I've got a couple of bits for tomorrow. Uh, shaker salad, Greek feta salad with a lemon and oregano dressing. So I can do a American shake of the salad. And I got a chicken chow mein noodles. Sorry, the shaker salad was 2.26 this i know i could get loads of different things and make food i'm just not feeling it at the moment i'm not feeling that great today my i've been in my head a bit uh chicken chow mein for three pounds then i got some bananas did i show you those bananas <clears throat> i didn't want a whole loaf but the loaf was 77p 
So have I got butter? I've got butter. Yeah, so loaf. These crisps, um, pop chips, they're like M&S's own, own version of pop chips. They're really good. These ones are the smoky barbecue and I think I like them better than pop chips themselves. And some carrot batons, which I'm gonna have with some uh, hummus tomorrow. Yeah. Can you hear that sound? It's the foxes. It's so, so, so horrible. But I've just fallen asleep in my clothes, so it's probably for the best. It's <laughs> lunchtime, and I've just realised that not only do I have my lovely shaker salad, but Emma left two scotch eggs in the fridge. And Emma's not going to get them because they're mine now. <laughs> no, I'm not seeing her till Friday. And it's just for the best that I eat them now before they go off on Saturday. They go off on Saturday and I'm not seeing her till Friday. So she doesn't, I don't want her to eat a scotch egg on the edge. You know, care about her too much to put her through that. So it's for the best that I eat scotch eggs. Okay. Da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. I feel very Kardashian shaking a salad. I don't think I've ever shook a salad before. Have you shook a salad before? I feel like I want some... Oh, did you see me catch that? Oh, this cupboard is absolutely ridiculous and I know that I need to have a clear out, a proper clear out. I've just messaged Maggie and I've admitted that I'm struggling with I, of, with my place because it's just too much. I've been too busy recently and it has all gotten on top of me. So, um, the thing is with me is I always do like a tiny bit. It's always like, so say this is the mess, I always just do a tiny bit and I need to do it down to the bottom. And I know you that you know this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out, I want a couple of artichokes on in my salad as well. Scotch egg season. I mean, it's no surprise that I broke my um, hair, my rabbit bowl with a chip. And this was a one off from um, TK Maxx. So I'm annoyed about that. But I've only got myself to blame. Scotch egg and tomato sauce. Hey ya. Uh, hey ya. Uh. Mmm. Nice. Yum. The other thing that is getting me through today is Tangtastics. Why are Tangtastics so fantastic? Even though they're made of absolute crap. They're just so good. Mmm. 
I'm sitting here on live chat with a girl, a human, woman, whatever, trying to fix the fact that part of our website is down. It's been down for five days now. I have just been blitzing the place for um, a couple of hours and I've actually got a fair bit done. So the, it, it doesn't look like it, but I have. Um, and I realized that in the beginning of, well, middle of this video when we were on the beach, I showed you that rock that we were bashing at and I still didn't open it. So I think I'm gonna take it to my dad and just be like, can you help us? Can you help me bash this open? Um, I, think I'm, oh, I think I might just need a bigger hammer or something. A couple of you wanted to see my sea glass haul. So maybe we could do that. Now, I've got quite a lot. <laughs> Yeah, I got quite a lot, but nothing, nothing that I would consider to be amazing. As far as I remember. I take that back. I take that back. I'll show you in a minute. <laughs> Sorry, glass. It was a nice day for see for hunting, you know, because because we had some sun, we had some, yeah, we had sun, we had cloud. Obviously, the direction you're walking and where the sun is plays a part in what you can see and the colors that light up. So for those of you who don't know, uh, I am a sea glass enthusiast. <laughs> Sea glass is what my brother calls washed up old rubbish. No, sorry, tumbled about old rubbish because it's literally sea. Wait, it's literally glass that has been in the sea and tumbled around. So it's now hopefully nice and smooth. So a really good bit would be something like this. Where it looks gorgeous um and if you shine a torch at it yeah it's stunning um so yeah this is a really nice bit sometimes you get bits i mean that's just glass what was i even thinking there that's literally glass so that doesn't count but okay let me show you this is a uh, waterproof. Is my haul. Oh, it looks great from below. Look at that. Okay, let's try something else. Oh my God. <laughs> it's so pretty. Um, so yeah, white, as you can see, white was the prolific color um, that we found on the bit that, yeah, that we found on the beach. Um, that's a stone. Wait, let me show you some better angles. So with sea glass, hunting and sea glass, the most common colors are obviously white, clear, brown. That's a really nice bit of brown. <laughs> yes, lovely. Yeah, and green. But even in these colours, there are so many separate colours. Like, there's so many different greens and so many different... Uh, not so many, maybe different browns. Browns are quite, quite boring. But this is a really fun, if you can call sea glass fun. This is a fun bit because it's a weird shape. Can you see that? It's like a little... It's kind of the shape of an earplug, which is quite rare because normally it's just flat. But yeah, this bit, as I showed you, 
this bit of green, brown. Oh my God, brown. Hello. This is a head torch. I could literally wear this as a head torch. This is my dad's, he lent me it. Hello? Yeah, this would look like well. I know, I'm so sexy right now, huh? Yeah. So yeah, this is my haul. Oh, this bit, this bit is really cool. Sometimes you get bits that are obviously parts of bottles. Sometimes you get bits with um, emblems on them or like markings, writing. I didn't seem to get too much of that this time. But note to self, get a head torch because this is excellent. The reason why I took the head torches is because if it gets dark, it's um, it's a really cool thing to be able to uh, shine the head torch down into the sand and all the all the colours of the glass come up. Because obviously a lot of these colours, when you're looking at them amongst all the stone stones, just look black. Um, but yeah, this is gorgeous. This is like a sea blue, like a sea, sea greeny blue. That is stunning. I think this bit is my favourite because it's a, I don't know, it just looks like an absolute little gem. Oh, smash. Little gem, doesn't it? I mean, these, these bits are a little bit too glassy for me. That's too glassy. It's not as um, weathered as I like them. This here is called milk glass because it's clear. Wait, sorry, it's milky. Um, I think that's pottery, but I quite liked it. Um, so the most important thing, I really liked this stone. Oh, this I got on Dirtle Door Beach. So it looked like an eye, like a snake's eye. In this light, you can really see the different greens, like these three, for instance. Dirt, 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 four. They all just look different. Um, one of the main exciting things to look for when you're looking for sea glass are the multis. Now, multis are very rare. I mean, this is a very small multi that I've actually only just realised I've got. So it's not all one colour. So that's got a bit of blue in the middle of it. If you can even see that, probably not. And I am sure I just saw a green multi as well when I was looking in here. Ah, there we go, there it is. Yeah, so it's got a bit of clear on the top and then it's got green, that green underneath. This isn't the best example of a multi, um, but yeah. They're what all the sea geeks, sea glass geeks love. <sighs> AKA me. <laughs> I just find it so amazing. And what I'm going to do is I'm, I love this bit as well. Um, I'm going to buy some silver wire and I'm going to start making some jewellery with them. Because for those of you who don't know, I did a jewellery. When I went to uni, my I did a higher national diploma in silversmithing or jewellery making. Obviously this, would, this wouldn't this would be silversmithing because I wouldn't be using a Bunsen. Bunsen burner, did I actually just say Bunsen burner? I wouldn't be using a flame. Oh my God, what's it called? A torch. I mean, you could use a, oh my God, I've completely forgotten what it's called. I wouldn't be using a flame and solder and heating anything up, therefore, you know, because you can't heat up glass, obviously. So, um, yeah, I really want to get a little drill and I really want to start making a few things just to spend my time in a more artistic way. But I hope you've enjoyed my little sweet sea glass tour today. Now I'm going to blitz this a bit more and I'm going to have some dinner and then we'll be saying goodbye and goodnight. <laughs>
This ain't Texas. This ain't hold on. Oh, I've got to get petrol. Oh. Why is getting petrol in the morning one of the worst things? <laughs> I took my um I took my dath piercing out yesterday to give it a bit of a rest. And I've got to oh, put it back in. Okay, let's go. Petrol done and I'm on my way to work. And it's annoying because the only reason, have I got my, yeah. <laughs> I was <laughs> just checking that I had the, this is the availability file that has all of our paper villa availability like this. So we can see all the bookings and it's like the Oracle. Um, <clears throat> the Oracle and I thought I left it at home. Anyway, the only reason I'm going to mum's today is because I sold something on Vinted and I need to print it off, even though it's in post. And it's really annoying because with in post, sometimes you can just scan the barcode and you don't need to print, but sometimes you do. And I don't know if it would be a good idea for me to just get a printer, even though it's bulky, even though it's annoying. I don't want to have to find somewhere where I can print something <sighs> because I don't, I don't know where I could print something. Maybe the library, I've got no idea. Um, <clears throat> oh, but it does seem like a lot of effort just to print something, doesn't it? My upstairs neighbour has a printer, but she's terrible at answering her phone. Like she's very like, my phone isn't. I mean, she's very good with her phone. She's not a she's not addicted to it like me. So um, if I message her, she may respond in two to four working weeks uh, which I I'm like that with friends but I know the message is there she doesn't even know it's there well as far as I know hazelnut cookie frothy coffee mmm Is it just me or when the days are like grey and dry, no, wet, like these wet grey days, it's just so depressing. This is why most of the time I just work with my blinds. Oh, amazing. I got my day thin. I was going along the, the road. <laughs> Trying to find the hole. I found the hole. Oh, I had such a nice weekend away. Well, night away in Dorset. And I was absolutely knackered on Monday and totally dehydrated. I never pack well for the beach. I always just think, oh, I'll be there for a bit. It'll be fine. Like, I didn't pack enough water. I should have worn sun cream. Didn't do any of it. Yeah, so I need to learn. I mean, it doesn't say it on there, so hopefully. There it is, your fat friend. Yay! So we're at the Lexi tonight. I'm here with Maggie. <laughs> and we're here to see this by Audrey Gordon, who has lots of nice things she's done. <laughs> Morning. Um, <clears throat> would you like to hear the most boring story in the world? Okay, great. <laughs> well, you're in luck. Um, because I have a Mac, 
Um, oh, I just love it when a plan comes together. Tweezers opening a parcel. Because I have a Mac, I can't plug in a straight USB. I know, MacBook. So I used to have <clears throat> I used to have a cable with a USB-C plug that plugged in and it had like three USB adapters on it. Then I lost that. So when I was really excited about finding my mouse the other week in the car, I was like, yes, I can finally use my mouse. C, um, C mouse, said mouse, here. Great, I can finally use my mouse. Got it, got it hard, got, got this little adapter. So I bought a new adapter, went to plug it in, then realized the little bit that plugs into the USB that connects to the mouse that makes it work was on the other adapter that I'd lost. So long story short, I've had to buy a new mouse which is annoying. I don't actually, I use the pin pad quite a lot. I'm not really a mousy gal. Ooh, so this is, I go through mice, well, at mum's, like it's going out of fashion. So this goes in there. This goes in here. Yes, Amazon Basics giving me a little battery. I've been really proactive this morning. I've already got up, gone into, uh, taken my car to the garage because it's been making a weird noise. It's been like, digga, 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 digga. the uh, exhaust has been playing up. On, connect, yay, we have lift off. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Oh, I feel all fancy. Doesn't take much. And now I've got a million and one emails to answer. Morning's here, the morning's here. So today, oh, I haven't even spoken to you about the thing I went to see last night. Oh my God. If you can get to see, if, if it's on a picture house or cinema, or whatever, near you go and try and see your fat friend by Aubrey Gordon you probably know who she is if you don't you should probably um look her up even if you don't look up her stuff her podcast maintenance phase is so good I need to listen to it more I've listened to three or four episodes in her in a in a as a whole and they're just so well informed funny real um, yeah, and this, this film yesterday was just a kind of a film a little bit about, well, about her life and about her kind of like social presence and building what she's built. And then at the end of it, there was a Q and A with her and the filmmaker. And that was really interesting to find out a little bit about what the film was meant to be and then what it ended up being. And <clears throat> It was so close to home though. It was, it was like being punched in the tummy like the whole time, but in a really good way because you don't see people that are fat talking about how it is to be fat in a real way in mainstream media ever. And um, it was just really great. I took Maggie as you saw, then we went for pizzas after. And to be honest, I was I, I was thinking, you know, we'll go and see the film and then we'll talk about it and then we'll this, we'll that. We like sat down for dinner and we had pizza. I've got some leftover pizza. So excited for that. Um, we sat down and chatted about everything but the film for ages because I just I just couldn't bring myself to talk about it. I just I just needed time to process. It was the kind of thing that I immediately was like, I need to watch that again. Um, I know it's only on for a very short time, uh, but for instance, like she made sure that 
all of the picture houses, cinemas she put the film into had like a minimum size seat. So it was accessible. Um, the seats we had, I didn't even film inside the cinema last night, but it was so beautiful. They were like blue velvet seats that were a good size. I fitted comfortably, which was lovely and rare. Um, and it had like this amazing light installation at the top, which changed colors before obviously all the lights went out for the cinema. I'll try and find a picture and put it here. But if you're in North West London, this was the Lexi in Kensal Rise and it's so nice. Um, obviously I've never been there because it's right on my doorstep. Why would I go there? Um, but like, for instance, the bag, we've got a bag of popcorn each that was like this big, two pounds, two pounds 20. And I was like, what year are we in? <laughs> what year is this? I was expecting it to be at like at least three pounds each, maybe even four. Anyway, just shows that when you're not in view cinema. So I'm going to. I'm going to get on with my day now. Shout out to Alyssa uh, for recommending that I go and see it. I just need some... <laughs> um, eh, come on, I know. Right, okay. Blah, let's go. Hi, so I'm going to... I don't know why I'm doing this in the dark, but those of you who watched a couple of weeks ago will know that I bought this vase. I bought this vase when I was 21. No, 21 years ago when I was like 16, and uh, my mum's had it for all that time. Then I bring it home and smash it to pieces. So after one day, so okay, that's a pretty clear break. So then that means that that bit goes there. It's really raining. So, I need to fix this because the amount of times I keep like putting my arm near it and I know I'm going to get jabbed and I don't want to get jabbed. I don't know if super glue works on glass, does it? Does super glue work on glass? On the website hotmelt.com, they say super glue or cyanoacrylate is an adhesive that's used in a huge variety of applications on a wide variety of substrates. This non hot melt adhesive is a great candidate for glass substrates due to its strong, clear and waterproof bond. So I'm going to put it on both. Now I should probably like fix it with something. And I actually just bought something very exciting that I've wanted for ages, which is a sea glass drill. And with it are loads of little additions. So if I can't get, cause there's this section here that's not got the bit in it yet. Cause the only bits that I found is that, and that's not gonna fit. So I'm just going to sand it down so it's all smooth. I 
think it's that bit. Yeah, it's that bit. That feels good to me. I'm just going to leave it now. I'm just going to stop touching it. Strong, independent woman. 